Hey, what's up, fam? Thank y'all for tuning in once again, as always. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. When you do subscribe, hit the notification bell so every time I drop a video, you will be the first to know about it. So let's see what's going on up in New York now. You know, we got this migrant crisis going, crisis going on. <sighs> Greg Abbott, we're trying to close these borders, but the president, Democrats don't want to do it. And now they, you know, you got these cities that say they're asylum, what they call it? Sanctuary cities. Now they've been sanctuary cities for the longest. But now it's just coming to bite them in the ass because Greg Abbott's like, hey, you can have them. But here's the problem. Say crime rate is going up and you got these advocates for these illegal, illegal immigrants saying, ah, oh, the crime rate is not going up that bad. What the hell ever? Dude, they came over here illegally. So they committed a crime crossing the border. They went against that. They broke your laws crossing the border. So you don't think that they're gonna break laws when they get here. So let's go to the Daily Mail right quick because I got a little story for you. This is from the dailymail.co.uk and it reads NYPD black and blue. Moment. Gang of four migrants beat two police officers to the ground in Times Square before being freed without bail. What in the hell? Four migrants were filmed clobbering two NYPD officers to the ground in Times Square before being released without bail. The incident began around 8.30 p.m. Saturday night on West 42nd Street as a pair of cops told the violent quartet, the violent quartet men to get moving. That's when a fight started to break out between the suspect in a yellow sweatshirt and the police officer. According to the NYPD, the migrants then started to attack the officers, kicking them in the head and body while the two officers tried to pin down one of, one of the other men tearing off his sweatshirt. Here's where you do an illegal choke move. I'm just saying. Two, where the guns at? Because you know what I'm about to say. If they were black, they would have choked them out and or would have shot them with, a, with the gun on accident because they thought it was a taser. That's the story we would have got, right? Right. So how in the heck you allow four migrants to beat the police? Did nobody come say and help the police out? Really? What's going on? The migrants then ran away, leaving the unidentified police officers on the ground while they made their getaway east on 42nd Street towards 7th Avenue. I thought the police supposed to have been trained in combat. Especially when you, if you're dealing with multiple people. And again, or maybe they didn't have a gun. Maybe all they had pepper spray. But you're supposed to have something. Nobody just attack you like this. I don't they knew there was illegal immigrants when they walked up to them and told them to move on. At around 10.44 p.m. that night, four of them, Darwin Andres Gomez Ezekiel, 19, Kelvin Savant Arrocha, 19, Juarez Wilson, 21. What kind of names are these? Nigga, what kind of names are these? And Yorman Riveron, 24, were arrested. So not only are they illegal immigrants, they also gave you some fake names too. They were all charged with assault on a police officer, gang assault, obstruction of governmental administration, and disorderly conduct, conduct, but were released without bail. What is going on in New York City? See, when people talk about being passport bros, this may be one of the main reasons why we need to think about that. I got my passport because stuff like this is showing you that this country is going to hell in the handbasket real quick. And there may be no return that if you got this kind of lawlessness going on and folks can be released without bail after beating on the police, what do you think these people are going to do to average American citizens who don't have a gun, who don't have the authority to use uh, weapons, especially in New York City, because I don't think you can even have a gun in New York if you're not a police officer, unless it's registered or whatever. I don't know. Remember, shout out to Plaxico Burris, but I think that's a crime. So how in the heck, what do you think they're going to do? So yeah. Passport bros that are going over there trying to go to Colombia and find these women and ended up deleting you. Just leave the country because this mess is out of hand. 
New York has come under fire for its progressive laws aimed to stop people who can't afford to make bail language in prison for months on end. Critics say it has led to a spike in violent criminals being freed straight back onto the streets and emboldening them to reoffend, knowing there will be few consequences. That's anything. It's like a kid. A kid do something bad if you don't put a belt in the ad, but take away all their electronics and make them go outside and move bricks. Bricks. Shout out to Joe Johnson, Joe Jackson, back and forth in the yard. They're going to continue to commit heinous acts. Joan Boda, 22, was arrested Monday night in charge with attempted assault on a police officer and gang assault. Police sources confirmed the men migrant status to the New York Post. The officer's cuts to the face and one and body bruises for the other at the scene. Uh, Reverend, the eldest of the men arrested, already has two open cases for assault and robbery in Manhattan, having stolen from the from and assaulted a Nordstrom's Racks employee in November. See, these people know. They come over here already knowing what they can get away with. Hell, they know what they can get away with on the way here. That's what I'm saying. It's like they already know how to get over, how to they come to the border and know what to say, what to do to get into the country. And then once in the country, they know what they can do to get, and how to get away with things in order to commit crimes. But we're being divisive down here in Texas. We're, you know, not understanding the plight of these people that supposedly running from, you know, what is seeking asylum, running from war torn countries and stuff like that. But you bring that mess here. But it, but it's us, right? It's us that, that that's 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 wrong. The worker had caught him attempting to swipe an item worth $130 before he allegedly pushed, punched, and bit them. He also alleged, how do you know that man ain't got some kind of disease where he bite the folks? Man, you know what I'm saying? The worker might need a tetanus shot. He also allegedly punched a loss prevention officer at the famous Hurl Square Macy's while trying to commit robbery with two other suspects. Police Benevolent Associates President Patrick Hendry condemn the attacks in the criminal justice system that allowed at least one of these men to reoffend in a statement. Attacks on, po attacks on police officers are becoming an epidemic and the reason it is revolving door we're seeing in cases like this one. See, what's gonna happen with these police is like what's happening with these teachers. You got a lot of teachers quitting, right? Because these kids are cussing teachers out, talking back, actually trying to fight these teachers and teachers can't do nothing. If the teacher try to defend himself, defend him or herself, they get fired. Rep reprimanded, but the kids don't. So the teachers like the heck with this, I'm out. So now you have no teachers. I'm about to have the same problem looks like with the police in New York. And when you have no law, and I don't care if you like the law, I don't care if you don't like the law. People say I don't like the police. Man, forget that mess. That nothing rappers and youngsters be talking that stupid crap. Stop talking like that. Like I said, it ain't the police. You don't defund the police. You don't say you don't get rid of the police. What you do is you revamp it you start over you wipe the slate with the old regime and you bring in a new regime where they're taught differently they, 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 they're actually being trained longer than a few months like i said before you got other countries who you have to like train for two years before you can become a police officer not two months or six weeks or whatever the heck it, however, however long basic training is the academy is but you can't just become a police route off, off the street and you gotta have you gotta be mentally and physically ready to be able to do it why is it you can become a police officer so fast but it took anywhere from two to four to eight years to become a nurse or a nurse practitioner or what have you and police those people jobs you know what I'm saying uh can determine life or death of a citizen so you gotta be mentally mentally prepared to be able to react to certain situations so you need extensive training so like i said you just got to revamp the police not get rid of it because it's not like y'all policing your own neighborhoods because if you do that you go to jail so what do you so so you're damned if you do damn if you don't well something got to change somewhere it said uh it's impossible for police officers to deal effectively with crime and disorder if the justice system can't or won't protect us while we do that work and i mean you might got some dirty cops but hey police is police the incident remains under investigation by progressive Manhattan. People probably saw them getting beat up and said, ah, oh, that's what the police deserve. I'm not getting into that. Okay, that's fine. 
But once you have no more police and these dudes are coming and robbing your store or robbing your house or jumping and beating up your family and robbing your grandmother and your daughter and your sister and your mama, you're going to be the first one run to the police station want to know what's being done and demanding results. First one. It says, an incident remains under investigation by progressive Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg's office. The attack comes as New York City in particular has struggled under the weight of tens of thousands of migrants arriving at its borders in need of place to stay and other accommodations. In 2023 alone, the city dealt with the arrival of more than 100,000 migrants. See, Eric Adams pleading for the federal aid because it's going to cost the city $12 billion and you don't see Biden saying something like Biden say, hey, I close the border if y'all pass it, they pass this bill. No, you can close the border, period. You just playing chicken with your own citizens. This is what your citizens are going through. And this is why I and a lot of other people are going to do everything we can to make sure that you don't get back in office this, this, this November. Matter of fact, I might just, even if I don't like a candidate, I might just vote for him just, so, just to make sure that there's one less vote or one more percentage going to some other side except you. But this is ridiculous. New York is a right to shelter state and is required to house asylum seekers, but shelters have filled up at an astronomical rate. It's like a personal problem. In Manhattan, a number of landmark hotels have been turned to make sure shelters and temporary housing is because they're getting paid. Back in September, Hochul said we have to get the word out that when you come to New York, you're not going to have more hotel rooms. We don't have the capacity whatever they just be on the street robbing stores and beating up police so we have to also message properly that we're at a limit if you're going to leave your country go somewhere else that's what we said but y'all want to call abbott the evil man but anyway man this is crazy this stuff is getting out of hand man there's some boats and some laws and some and some politicians are going to have to go immediately because we ain't trying to get that down here not at all. So tell me what you think about this story. Leave your comments below and then share it with the world. Don't forget MarlonMorale.com. With that being said, I leave you in peace. And I'll see you on the other side.